and take the next three or four minutes to try to I'll show you how to find the inverse of a matrix using the TI Inspire CAS calculator. I'm going to try to go through about four examples and what I'm hoping you get from this is not just how to do this. I'm, I'm not attempting to teach you uh, the linear algebra of this. I'm trying to teach you just how to use these cheats. So let's go ahead and try that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my calculator page. For you, you'd go to your menu screen and you'd pull down calculator, but that's this is where I am right here, if you don't mind. And then here, the face of my calculator is the same as yours, I think. Okay, there are a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to show you two ways really quickly. Uh, one way is this. So if you see with the red button, it just lit up right there on the calculator screen. I'm going to be using a 2x2 two two matrix. Uh, if I wasn't, if I was going to use a 1x2 or a 2x1, I would choose one of these things. The reason I'm telling you that it's in the obvious to you is because if you chose this third choice right here, um, that will let you fill in the number of rows and columns that you have, so you can customize it there. This is just a lot easier for me because I am using a 2x2. Two two. So if the numbers I have are these, and if you want to go ahead and do this with me, it's 4. And then here's the tab button. It's just, it'll just walk you through it. Then I'm going to do negative 5 here. I'm going to hit tab again negative three, tab again, and four. So, you know, let me show you. So here's one way you can do this. We have this matrix here. What's really important is here, I was on the inside here. I was in one of these elements here. When you want to get to the outside, make, you use, make sure you use your right cursor and that your the full cursor is on the outside of this. Um, otherwise, weird stuff happens. I can't explain more of it than that to you, but okay. So then I'm gonna hit this carrot here and I'm going to put negative first power here. Remember, this has a second meaning of being the inverse of something. And that's all you have to do is this. Now, if I was going to be doing a lot more than this, if I was going to be doing a lot more than this, I might actually do this. I might actually, when I type this thing, I might have actually captured this whole thing like this. I'm going to show you, I'll show you a little trick here. If you hit Control C here, Control C is for copying. If you move the cursor down to where you want it, you can hit Control V. And Control V makes a copy, uh, produces a copy of it for you here. Now, what I could have done was just redone this whole matrix, but I want to show you that I could have done it this way. I could have done this. I could have said Control Store, right? Control Store right there, and called this thing A. Now, when would I when would I do this? Well, if I'm going to use this matrix over and over, if I'm using it for a project or something, I might do that. So it gives you that. You can ch check and see if it worked. You just go down here to the next line. You see the A came up here in bold, and if you hit enter, so if you're wondering, well, did it record it the way I wanted it? Yes. Now what you could do is this. You could say A, and then take that to the negative first power, right? Negative first power is equal to that, and you see that here it shows us the matrix, and here it shows us the inverted matrix here, okay? So th that's how, how I would do this. I'm going to do another video right after this. I'm going to do that one on solving equations, uh, and you'll really see how this thing can work really, really well. Having said that, for now, I would leave it like this, and let's just try to do one more example. So let's go here again. I'm going to go to this button right here. The next one I'm going to use is also a 2x2 two two matrix, so I'm just going to choose this one. Remember that I could customize my matrix by using this selection right here, but I'm not going to. That And just fill the numbers, which have to be 6, 2, 8, and 3, so 6... 2, 8, 3. Now again, remember, I, we could take the, I took the cursor to the outside using this button here. I could save this thing. I could do control store and st store it as matrix B. And if I was going to use A and B, I could do a lot of stuff with it. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to simply do this. I'm going to hit the exponent here, there, and negative one, remember, means the inverse of something. And we hit enter, and that is, in fact, our answer. All right, so I don't, I don't think this is too bad. I was thinking, should I do another example? But no, I think this is probably good. Uh, if you have any questions about it, please uh, put something in my comments and, and let me know if I screwed something up or if you found an easier way to do it. God, please uh, share that with me. Um, Okay, also please remember to update your operating system. It's You can do it for free at uh, TIeducation.com, I think is where, or TI, yeah, something. Anyway, it might just be TI.com. Wherever it is, you just hook your um, USB to it, and then you can get a free upgraded system. Your calculator, your TI, should have a, an operating system of at least 3.0 right now. So if you're down in the 1.7s or 1.9s, you need desperately to update it. Okay? Cheers.